Good evening, and welcome to the Episcopal Church of Our Savior of Madison County. We are glad that you have joined us for our sharing of some Celtic spirituality. And this mm -hmm. evening, we are using a Compline service of Abbas Iba um, in the tradition mm -hmm. of Celtic spirituality. Iba was living in the 1600s in um, what at that time was Northern England or and Southeast Scotland. And she was an Anglican abbess and noblewoman. She was the sister of Oswald and um, Oswy. They were both kings of Northumbria, which was an early medieval Anglo-Saxon kingdom. And at that time, there was quite a bit of rivalry between different kingdoms, and there was a lot of conflict among the different kingdoms. And so at the time that she was living, um, there was her father had been killed in one of these battles, and her mother and brothers had to flee and exile to southeastern Scotland, and that was where they were converted to Christianity. And when it was safe for them to return, um, when her brother became one of the kings of Northumbria, then it was then that she um, began to set up um, a monastery. We believe that she was probably married into the royal house of Wessex. And having been widowed, she returned to Northumbria. And she became a nun and lived at a monastery at um, Ebchester, which is near Newcastle. And she was consecrated as a nun by Aidan. And you may remember that Aidan was one of the first Compline services um, that we, we explored. What was distinctive about her monastery was it was a monastery for both monks and nuns. And it was located near Coldingham in Scotland, and she was the abbess for 30 years. She was also very politically astute and um, considered to be a diplomat in many ways. And so she was often consulted when there were conflicts going on at that time, conflicts that had to do um, with religious practice. And there's a renowned historian of the church in Britain, um, Beebe, and he had described her as a pious woman and a handmaid of Christ. She was very instrumental in the spread of Christianity. The population at that time was largely pagan. And her work is remembered and honored um, by many pilgrims. There was a book that was written about her by a Benedictine monk in the 1200s. And after the publication of that book, um, Coldingham became a, a site um, where pilgrims would go and visit. And just about two years ago, there was an archeological dig and they believe that they found the archeological remains um, of that monastery that, that she had founded. So our Compline service this evening will be led by Stephen and Louise Locke. The Compline service is traditionally the last service of prayers that monks and nuns and other lay Christians would use at the end of the day. Um, when you see a cross, um, it indicates that you make the sign of the cross. And if you can mute yourself, we will let uh, Stephen and Louise Locke late lead us in this Compline service of prayer. Find rest, O oh my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. Come I this night to the Father. Come I this night to the Son. Come I to the Holy Spirit, powerful. Come I this night to God. Come I this night with Christ. 
Come I with the spirit of kindness. Come I to thee, Jesus. Jesus, shelter me. I will lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. By day, the Lord directs his love. At night, his song is with me. A prayer to the God of my life. Steve, be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. This dwelling, O God, by thee be blessed, and each one who here this night does rest. May God be in my sleep. May Christ be in my dreams. May the spirit be in my repose, in my thoughts, in my heart. In my soul always may the sacred three dwell. May the father of heaven have care of my soul, his loving arm about my body through each slumber and sleep of my life. The Son of God be shielding me from harm. The Son of God be shielding me from ill. The Son of God be shielding me with power. The Son of God be shielding me this night. Sleep, O oh sleep in the calm of each calm. Sleep, O oh sleep in the guidance of all guidance. Sleep. O oh, sleep in the love of all loves. Sleep, O oh, beloved, in the Lord of life. Sleep, O oh, beloved, in the God of life. The peace of all peace and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You can um, appreciate that by having these relatively short prayers, but having, if they are saying them um, night after night, that those words would just become deeply embedded in their memory and they, they would have memorized them. And, um, you know, each, each of those prayers, however brief, are, are really deep um, in meaning and I think really convey a sense of um, peace and security and protection and, and calm uh, during the night. And, um, you know, I, I just find them to be very beautiful and meaningful prayers to um, end, end the, the evening. I thank everyone for joining us. I hope you will continue to look for our worship services as we post them on the YouTube channel for the Episcopal Church of Our Savior, and we invite you to follow us on our Facebook page and on our website. May you be safe, may you be well, and may you have a blessed week.